We are live right now. Right now. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Outside of, I have to remember this, so I have to put emphasis on Ephesus. Ephesus, Georgia is where we're at, outside of their fire hall, right there. They've been so gracious to let us park the RV here tonight. Uh, give me a thumbs up, everybody can hear me. Can say, you guys hear us? Say, yeah, yeah, we can hear you guys. Um, thank you, give me a thumbs up. Jared finds mm -hmm. cars. Yes, okay, so perfect. So they, they, they didn't hear, hear the first part just now. Well, I'm, I'm well, listening. Well, you have a delay, so don't, don't listen to that. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> so so where, we're, where we're at is, uh, as you guys know, as many of you know, a couple days ago, we were on the road because we finished up with Nick in North Carolina early. That left us with three or four days to go search and do something. Mm -hmm. We put up a poll that said, should we go check out Carol Baskin's ex-husband? Everybody, like, well, I won't say everybody. Some of you wanted that one. But, you know, it really came down to let's go find Grandma. Grandma and Natalie Jones were the two to really focus on. So, first of all, let's give you a uh, update on Natalie Jones. F first of all, let's just say thank you, yes, thank everybody. You for being here this evening and really supporting us on this trip and everything that we've been doing. We're cross country road trip 2020 with a mission to serve as many people as we can, as many families as we can, trying to help find their lost loved ones. So that's what the purpose of this trip is. Along the way, you know, we've actually, we've kind of been joking that we really haven't pulled any cars out. No. In fact, we've kind of also no. joked that we really haven't been divers on this trip no, either. No, 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 not divers. We've been uh, investigators. Um, <laughs> but water investigators. I mean, Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, our purpose, uh, where our specialty is sonar related and diving, and that's how we ended up finding Nick. So yes. that video will be out Friday for everybody else. Dan Dan, the cameraman, and Josh Miner, uh, the music producer, has been doing an incredible job going back and forth and getting it just right. I saw Nick's video last night. Let me tell you, first of all, Dan Dan, the cameraman, welled up several times making this video. I understand that I watched it last night. I was crying. This is a video that is going to bring you into the world of meeting, you know, Nick's family, meeting Judy, meeting Trudy. Um, what we go through and how quickly sometimes these go fairly quick, mm -hmm. you know, with Nick's. Where that took us now was, you know, we're really grateful for us being able to jump over there and help the family. But where we're at now is we do have those three or four extra days. With that poll, we ended up going over to Glencoe, Alabama. Glencoe, Alabama is where Grandma was at. Uh, and we there was really only three bodies of water over there. We searched all three bodies of water. It was a fairly quick search. We also boots on the ground. Yep, there was on the ground. There was a Owl's Hollow Road that kind of goes up along this creek. It really, it really wasn't even a creek anymore. I mean, it was like dried up. Regardless, we ended up finding a small bag of bones. It was not human bones, no. but it was a bag of bones. We also found a car bumper, purple, similar in color to Grandma's Kia, 2019 Kia, but that was also not Grandma's car. No. Um, so with that, that really left, uh, we didn't have anywhere else to search in the area because, you know, grandma does have uh, onset of dementia or Alzheimer's. And if that's the case and grandma had a full tank of gas, she could have gone anywhere or somebody could have, you know, snagged grandma, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We don't have those stories, but what we do have is we do have the answer answers as to where grandma is not over there. So we did film that one. Dan, Dan, the cameraman, will be editing that one soon for members, and that one will be out public to everybody. As we're shooting all this content along the way, please also know and understand, if you're not a member, everything is coming out to you publicly, but we do release every Friday is when we release. So all of this that we're shooting will not be in order, I don't think. Uh, we do bounce around a little bit mm -hmm. and it will be released through the holiday season so bear with us if you you're, you're really interested in something we've done it is going to be coming out we just don't exactly know when yet and where that brings us to now today is we now have three days total to focus on natalie with today being day number one is done so let's update everybody as to what we have on natalie what we did today with natalie and what our plan is for tomorrow mm -hmm. I think that the first thing I want to kind of mention is we met with mom today. We and, did. And this was a mom didn't even know we were coming into town. Uh, mom, I don't even think mom had actually heard about us. Mm -hmm. um, she heard that 
that she heard that there was somebody that was taking a poll of should they look for grandma or if they should look for Natalie, and somebody tipped her off that there is, that that we did exist. So when Sam, we Sam, turn your volume down. I think I think they're picking up your volume. No, your volume. Oh, is it her volume? Yeah, because yeah, yes, yeah, so yeah, I got headphones in, so yeah, they can't you're hear. here. So you, so this is a, this is Sherry Nelson. One of our uh, viewers yeah. has been hanging with us for the last two days, so you can hear everything right here, Sherry. So you can you hear turn us? the volume down. It kind okay. of gets back up. Incredible that uh, she's been hanging with us for the last two days. We also had Mark Dixon came out today, and he hung with us. Um, right now I'm. Uh, so what is so not, we knocked on grandma or on mom's door today. And mom was incredible. Like she's, she invited, I didn't even think she would invite us in. Like, hey, let's just have a quick little oh, yeah, discussion. She just, she just invited us right in. Yeah, Come e on in. Yeah, Elaine. So uh, Elaine is her name. And she discussed, you know, some of the details of Natalie, Natalie Jones. Shared some pictures with us. And it was a really nice uh, conversation that we had with her this morning. With that one... Here's what here's I'm going to read a few things with you so I can kind of bring you into what we <clears throat> what we know about the case. So and, and this is a little more information than what you'll find online because we've been here for 24 hours now. Yeah. Um, we also have a, a couple of viewers that have really given us and fed us some more information as to, hey, there's this information that this place needs to be checked. And some of these places I'm going to talk about, I'm going to be general about it because it's not yet out in the public. Um, and so I've been using a special word on this trip. And then the special word is privy. I'm privy to some of this information that not even Sam, Sam. No, in fact, uh, truthfully, uh, some of this stuff's a little sketchy and I prefer not to know. <laughs> so, anyway, so uh, I feed Sam what he needs to know on a need to know yeah, basis. Yeah, so. Um, so with that, we have, first of all, Natalie, I think it's kind of important that we bring this into it, that Natalie has been diagnosed with uh, bipolar and schizophrenia. Also, the mom says that, you know, she's not into drugs, but we have rumors from other people that she is into drugs. Um, not just meth, but possibly selling it. And, and I've been very direct with mom and, you know, and, and Elaine as far as sharing this information as to what it is that we know. Um, she's just not aware of some of this stuff, but she, I mean, she's aware that because I shared some of it with her and, and I'm sure that she's heard of she, but she said she could not confirm it herself that says, I know my daughter is. And so that's where we're at on that one. Um, so we're going to go down a little rabbit hole with you this evening for the next uh, half hour, 45 minutes, sharing some information that we know about this. First of all, a uh, diagnosis with bipolar and schizophrenia. She's was at a, a uh, at a, uh, I'm sorry, five, Someone, five, three. Tabitha Jones said she's not schizophrenic, she's bipolar. No, Bi bipolar. Bipolar, okay. Yeah, that's actually what her mom said too. Her mom did say bipolar as well. Yeah, so, so if I'm, if I'm addressing this incorrectly, I, I appreciate you guys correcting me on it. Thank you. Um, 5'3", 130 pounds, uh, age 27 at the time. I think she's 28 now. She might have had a birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, mother of two sons uh, who are 4 and 11 years old. Um, she was living with her mother at the time in Corinth, Corinth, Georgia. Um, and we happened to acquire Cor her. Corinth. Corinth. Corinth, Georgia. Uh, we happened to acquire mom's address just this morning, which then led us over to mom's house incredible like i said we were actually out of water in the rv and she let us actually tap into the she did in the house as well so we do have fresh water back on board uh, so that way sam can shave and smell better um, on july 4th uh natalie uh went to her birthday's december 14th december what what is it december 14th. december 14th okay so she's not yet 28. so uh, on july 4th she went to a party uh, over at Jackson Gap, Alabama, to a friend's house to celebrate 4th of July with him and his family. She used to date him 10 years ago, and they have remained friends. Uh, she was last seen leaving around 10.30 uh, that evening, driving towards home in Georgia with evidence that she, she did make it to LaGrange and reports that she texted a friend around uh, 2.30 a.m. Now, with that... The distance from the lake house to home is only about an hour and 20 minutes. The friend come to find out mm -hmm. in speaking with mom, so she, Natalie did not text mom. 
Natalie texted a friend down the street or an elderly woman or just a neighbor. It was a neighbor. A neighbor just down the street is who she ended up texting and said, and uh, I made it. Thanks. But now, where, to, where has she gone from there? You know, it's currently a mystery. So the question is, uh, did she actually make it home because there was a cell phone ping near the area in, say the name of the town again? Corinth. Cor Corinth. 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 So there was a cell phone ping near Corinth. However, mom confirmed that no, she never did make it home that night. Never pulled into the driveway. Never pulled out of the driveway. There's some question on mom's part, whether, or some other people's part, whether Natalie even texted, if it was her that texted. I don't have that answer. All I know is that from La LaGrange to where the cell phone pinged, when she hit LaGrange, there was nobody yet in the car with her because she was on the phone speaking with somebody. Mm -hmm. So that's what we know of that. Um... The there's also an ex boyfriend that's been in the news, Jonathan Lawrence, who is currently in jail for trying to solicit the murder of a law enforcement investigator. Uh, but law enforcement has not yet been able to connect anything with Jonathan Lawrence and Natalie's case. Now, mom and a few others believe that there's a connection there. If we can keep your uh, volume off over there, Sherry, sorry about that. Um, possible theories of the ex-boy. Uh, so there's possible theories of the ex-boyfriend. Two two different ex-boyfriends. Mm -hmm. um, an overdose. Uh, possible suicide. Mom says that 100. You know the you know she would not. But we also dealt with you know like Nicholas. Mm -hmm. You know there was a Nicholas would never do this. So same thing with this yeah. is you know Nicole would never do this, but. You just never. Yeah, you always you always want to think the best of your loved ones, you know, regardless, you know. So, where that takes us then is down a nice big rabbit hole today. Uh, we started with three different leads, and this this is where the story kind of gets uh, really interesting because in talking to mom as well as another uh, lead of ours, where my information is privy, I'm privy to the information. You're privy to it. Yes. And also a privy in some places is a toilet. No, I think that's uh Is it? Yeah, I think so. Is, is that right? Is a privy a toilet? What, in what country is it? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, as you were saying. Yeah, so as I was saying, so where that takes us is mom had an incredible story, which then tied in the, the story that we heard from our other confidential informant about a f what they have first referred to as a cooler or a chest, mm -hmm. a cooler. And yeah. first of all, a cooler in my mind is just like, oh, hey, let's go to the, the, to the park or go to the lake. Yeah, cooler, Grab the cooler. is small. It has insulation that makes it float. So we were thinking, like, if she's in a cooler, it's floating, so that's not happening. But then, as we were talking to mom, it turns out that there was a gentleman, and I don't know if this was an ex-boyfriend or who mm -hmm. it was, but there's witnesses that state that this gentleman had a cooler, a, an ice box, a large freezer, like yeah. a, like, 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 like a plug-in chest freezer yeah. type of thing. Like, a, like a, a, a large one. Yeah. Okay, one that you would need the back of a pickup truck to transport this. So this chest freezer, cooler, freezer, is in the back of the pickup truck, and it stinks really bad. And he tells this gal that is with him, hey, there's 35 dead catfish catfish inside of it. And that, you don't want to look. You don't want to look. That's why it stinks so bad. Don't open it. And then that's where this ties into the story that I'm about to tell you about the other theory as to what's going on. So, so mom's story now ties into the confidential informant story of a ice chest, a freezer, that ended up being dumped that Natalie may be separated from her car. A hot pink car, by the way. Like, it was. It used to be black. 2002 Cor Corolla? Is that what it was? I forget Cavalier. what it was. Ca Cavalier. 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 Chev yeah, Chevy Cavalier. So, the story goes is that Natalie may be separated from the Cavalier in the ice chest. Mm -hmm. And the ice chest sounds like there's multiple people that would have been involved with that one. Yeah. Because we ended up down a really, really long dusty and dirty dirt road miles of it mm -hmm. to a secluded like 
if you were going to go dump an ice chest and you had and you would have had to have a couple of friends with you at least one other you could have in this location dumped an ice chest this was our location number one today sam and i uh for part of it we end up throwing a magnet fishing for up on the river side of it mm -hmm. and then down on the lake side of it there was a, a little bit of a deeper canal we ended up throwing the magnet there but then we also got the boat out with the sonar and we ended up sonaring it with the uh, with the 360 sonar as well as the side scan sonar nothing was in this location so this area this location 100 percent i can say no car no chest freezer what there was was though uh, moccasins by the way water I, moccasins yes i figure uh, sam always wears tall boots so i figure when he refers to water moccasins he's like yeah he's got his water moccasins on for the yeah. water i'm trying to get him cultured into yes. learning about new things come to find out <laughs> water moccasins down here in alabama and georgia mean a little something different absolutely it means there's going to be snakes that are swimming and they're ready to bite you and they're ready to jump in the boat yes yes that snake was ready to jump in it our was. boat today it came up right up the inside of it sam's poking it with a stick thank you sam <laughs> love that and antagonizing the snake uh, maybe just a little. Yes. So thank you for that. Cleared location number one. Down at this spot, we have zero cell phone service. So we, we couldn't do anything else as far as because we were tipped off to another location uh, nearby. So we ended up coming back up from that location up towards Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Far enough that we were able to get cell phone service. And then we followed the lead up on location number two. Location number two took us down to a, uh, you know, a couple of nice uh, older gentlemen that were fishing underneath of a bridge, had never heard of Natalie Jones, and they were really polite in letting us really run the sonar past them yeah. a couple times because they're, they're hunkered in underneath the bridge. Uh, so one on shore, three of them in the boat. And so thank you to those gentlemen, if they happen to uh, ever be watching this, for letting us kind of have them pull their lines out of the water for a few minutes. Didn't take long, and, and what this location was was it was back over in, we've been back and forth between Alabama and Georgia many times today. Yeah. So I keep losing track of where we were. Yeah. So we're now in Georgia. We were, mm -hmm. So that took us back over into Alabama. And with that location, actually it could have been Georgia. It doesn't Georgia. matter. Um, so anyway, so it was a bridge to where if somebody had a freezer in the back of a pickup truck, 100%, it could have been like a hit the brakes, throw it over the edge. Mm -hmm. It's deep enough. And out you go. Then that's why we that's why we uh, check that location based upon the confidential informants hearing of yes, this could be a, a potential location. Location number two clear. Uh, we still had a little bit of daylight, and what was bothering me about location number one is that when we made a right and we went down to you know the river and the lake, what bothered me is that there was a road that went to the left, and we never went to the left. And so when we did have, so we had to come back into cell phone service again after location number two. And so at location number two, uh, uh, I'm sorry, when we came back into service, then we figured, hey, location number three, we found that if we would have made a left and we went down that road, it was like another five miles down that road, there was an old abandoned boat ramp. And the boat ramp had like a nice parking lot and a straight ramp that went straight into the water. I'm like, back home, that is like, dumping grounds now granted that if somebody wanted to dump a car they would have had to have a second getaway driver on that one because it was so far out of town like uh 10 15 miles mm -hmm. out of town at least like 10 miles from the last turn that you could make to get on this road so with that you all right yeah stars are great out here okay um so with that location number three we ended up getting in the water it's uh now we're nearing sunset at this point did some scanning uh, at one point in one point in the evening we took a sherry for a boat ride hey sherry hey, hey. Um, and that was at location number two and then at location number three then sam jumped back in the boat with me for the sonar and the scanning so that's what we had going on at location number three before i go into more of the story let me uh, just jump in here real quick and uh just thank a few people um and, and if you donated anything, I really appreciate it. It's only shown me like the last three uh, activity things because 
it may have happened so long ago. I know that several people have donated, so really appreciate that because your donations is what allows us to come out here to put gas in the RV for us to uh, buy food. Speaking of buying food, Emp Ephesus, Ephesus has the only grocery store in town, okay, is Dollar General. That's right. That is not really a grocery store because we needed salad tonight. There was no salad at Dollar General. I didn't think there would be. My wife laughed at me when I said I was going to say grab a, a salad at Dollar General. So that then led us through to the only groceries or the only gas station in town mm -hmm. where they happened to have like a little deli in the back. So they didn't have fresh salads out front, but they were making salads mm -hmm. in the back. So we did end up getting some salads. So we appreciate that the gas station was in town and that happened. But that's gonna bring me into my next story in just a few minutes about the gas station and meeting the people here in town and some of where we're gonna be taking this story tomorrow with our search. I like this comment uh, about someone just said about the cell service in this area. Oh, the cell service is terrible in this area. And, the, and, and it, it, uh, this still moon said in that area of Georgia, there's very little cell service. If you go five feet one way, you're in Alabama, five feet yep. in the other direction, you're in Georgia. Yeah, 100% correct. Um, cell phone service is really terrible. So where that took us was we finished and we wrapped up the day today because we're getting hungry and we need to go find food. So we're like, all right, we're going to go up to Ephesus. We're going to go check out their grocery store. We're going to settle in for the night. We're going to find a good place to park. Well, we found a good place to park we're right here at the fire hall. Um, one of the, you refer, what do you refer to fire department people as? Fire department people. What do, you, what do you mean? What do you refer to them as? Uh, like who's inside? Like um, the, the the firehouse keeper. I, I don't know. The firehouse keeper. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're so called. So firehouse keeper is inside. <laughs> Someone uh, will tell us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Please tell us what they're called. <laughs> Thanks, it, guys. It wasn't the it wasn't the chief. Uh, how about a firefighter? Yeah. Fire. There okay. we go. Firefighter. Yes. yes. There's, 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 there's a there's a there's a fireman inside who actually lives on premises, and so he was kind enough said yes. Just don't block the doors. And yes, you're welcome to park outside, out front. So we really appreciate the Ephesus <laughs> Fire Department for letting us park out front. So we got, you know, our bellies full and everything. But anyway, so that's going to take us to my story of what we're doing tomorrow, as well as meeting people in this town. So we were over at the gas station getting our salads that were being freshly made for us. And that ended up talking about like... And we haven't had like olives. No, that was great. Yeah, so olive, olives oh, and olive. Olive was, was awesome. Good. As well as the banana peppers. I had cheese even. Delicious. You snuck in some cheese. Yes, we did. Yeah, we weren't supposed to have cheese, but we did have cheese. Yeah. Um, then, oh, hey, oh, I'm sorry. Before I do that, I wanted to say thank you to a, a few people. So Chris, uh, Crystal Wood, thank you for your $50 donation. Uh, she says, you know, for our endeavors throughout this trip, gentlemen, here's a little extra. This will be my first ever super chat. Really appreciate you jumping on and supporting your first ever super chat. We also have Troy Broadway. Hope this helps. Thank you for uh, everything you do. We have new members coming on. Peggy Payson. Peggy, by the way, uh, and anybody that is a member will come on. Um, that's pretty much like saying, hey, I'm a part of the team. I'm, I'm putting forth a financial investment to help you guys out and to donate to the team and what the team needs. So with that as our way of saying thank you, you will be getting you know videos early before the general public, but that doesn't mean that we don't love you, the general public as well, because we've met so many people along the way. It just says, I can't help out financially, but just you being here, watching, clicking, hitting the thumbs up. In fact, there's 2,700 people on right now. We only have 1,200 likes. So if you guys could start hitting that thumbs up for what is it we're out here doing and sharing this information with you this evening, let's see if we can get that, you know, 1,200 likes, get that up to over 2,000 right now. There's 2,700 of you on. Smash that really helps us out. Uh, helps the algorithm and helps uh, YouTube say, oh, hey, yeah, we, we like these guys too and mm -hmm. brings more people in so that way we can continue this. Uh, Troy Broadway, uh, so he became a part of the team. Welcome to the team, John Brock. We have, let me just scan through a few more of these and then I'm going to get more into the story. Uh, Farm Farmec, I've seen them before, $20 donation this evening. So thank you. We've seen you donate before. Uh, we have Mike is part of the team now. We have Mindy is now part of the team. So thank you for that, Mindy. I'll do two more and then uh, we're going to get back to this. Farmec, uh, also another $20. We have Tommy, part of the team now. Thank you very much. And here, I lied. I, I'm going to do one more. So with this one, uh, welcome part of the team, Richard H. as well. 
So this takes us to, as we're getting, before we have dinner this evening. Real quick, Mark Dixon, how's it going, man? Thanks for coming out. Mark, you, Mark you, you have a good night. Sounds like you uh, might be going to bed. Yep, thank I Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, thank you for coming out and helping us today. So you'll see him in the uh, video that we uh, filmed today and the, and the day one of the uh, story. So we ended up at this gas station and at the gas station, uh, real nice people that were in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go general. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So real nice people in there. And some that were getting gas and some that were overhearing conversations just jumped in and said, Super small town. Super, super small town. Let's go so super small that in one of our conversations, as somebody was saying, Oh, hey, you should check out this pond over here by this church. And we're going to leave this very general. I'm not going to say what church, what pond, what city or state, because there's two states that we have here um, side by side. Somebody was overheard this conversation. They walked out the door. They got on the phone with the pastor right away. And while we're still having a conversation in the store, somebody else in the store gets a phone call from the pastor that says, you better not be telling them where the pond is at. And you tell them they better not come down here. And I'm, I'm just, let me just go right now. This is all going to be a miscommunication that you're going to hear in just a few moments that got cleared up. So, but it didn't get cleared up for a little bit. Mm -hmm. No, it, like, it was like 45 minutes before mm -hmm. this got cleared up. So that was the, oh, so we didn't know that phone call came in yet. That, that phone call came in after we left, left the, we were getting ready to leave the premises. So we're actually in the RV. So anyway, so super nice people mm -hmm. giving us tips and, and information. I'll jump into some of those tips and the information on where we're going to search tomorrow and i'll show you like one or two of them not our super secret one though so the one of one of the people come running out as we're getting ready to leave and they're like you can't go over there now the pastor called the pastor said do not come make sure they do not come to the property well what ended up happening come to find out is that the somebody thought that this person was telling us that we were going to go fishing down fishing. there and that this is a private pond do not come fishing down here and that's really what this whole thing was because roughly mm -hmm. 45 minutes later i think you might have taken, been taking a quick night did you yeah, see i was trying to take a nap did you see the pastor to... actually stop by no i didn't see the pastor stop by oh so let me fill you on I, so this is what you're saying is new, actually news to me i i am so dang tired i was trying to get a nap we've been busy we've been hustling we've been grinding and i was just trying to squeeze in a little bit of shut eye so so this is, I, I missed it so this is privy information that i'm going to now share with you the pastor and his wife stopped by while you were taking a nap uh -huh. after dinner so i had i know it was after dinner because i still has my dinner here i didn't finish it yet it's now finished and he pulls in and he goes in an alabama accent or a georgia accent i can't even do it southern let's go with southern, southern accent can you do a southern accent for me uh no i'm not even gonna try it anyway he says are you guys are y'all the divers y'all the divers what Very you doing around that. here yes Something like that? Uh, something like that. Okay. And I'm like, yes, we are the divers. Oh, he goes, oh, I heard about you. I'm the pasture. Mm -hmm. I, past, pastor. Pa pasture is a pastor field. Pastor is where pastor. cows are. A pastor, pastor. is the one pastor. who's a pastor. over his congregation. Okay, so it's not a pasture. I say crick, you say creek. <laughs> I say pasture, you say pastor. So anyways, it was really nice they stopped by and he said, Okay, I heard that, yes, I, it was misunderstanding my part. Y'all are welcome to come on over there. Give me a call in the morning. So I've got his phone number, and we're going to, that's one of our first places we're going to go search tomorrow. We're going to meet up with him. The pond is over 20 feet deep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, a car could be hit in there. So whether somebody <whistles> took her out or if she <whistles> took herself out, this is an I, it's actually a, an excellent location. And, and I guess I need to back up also why we're in Ephesus. Because here's what we left out of our story earlier. In Ephesus, from 2.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the morning, we have privy information. Is that uh, Jake uh, Duncan, thank you very much. You just donated uh, $25 on our PayPal. Let me uh, also say thank you to a few more people for... Uh, a few things and if i miss anybody i'm sorry because things are going by quick here uh 25 dollars from dell uh you guys are doing great things for, uh com for complete strangers hats off to you thank you y y you your donation and being here really helps us out <laughs> daddy cats welcome to part of the team we have a ten dollar donation from frazzle cat thank you for that new member part of the team cheryl lynn thank you we have a hundred dollar donation from tara young wow 
and she says, my daughter, Alpaca Dog Chicken, and I are big supporters from Bend. Bend, Oregon? That's, that's, that's where you're that's from. That's where I'm from. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually met you <gasps> at the Cupcake Place by Kelly D's. We are always watching and <laughs> love what you do for families. She would love to meet you in person when you get back to buy a shirt. Hold on. Uh, that is awesome. And stay safe. Yes, 100%. Hit me up in email, and I will make sure that when I get back that you have my uh, personal cell phone, but, and you have to be proactive and call me, and we will get together for sure, and I will make sure that uh, she, your daughter gets a no, shirt no, as well. the, the real question is, though, what were you doing at the cupcake place, Jared? Oh, my daughter. Oh, sure. Yeah, I go sure. to my daughter's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 100%. You guys catch that? Yes. And uh, also OS, OSOB, thank you. Upgraded their membership to an air sponsor. So, yes, if you're already a member and you would like to upgrade, that really helps us out as well. Um, so I was talking about the pasture. So the pasture says, yes, please come on down. Is that where I was at in my story? I don't know. I just distracted you. Yeah, you totally did. I'm sorry. So um, the pasture, really nice. So yep. his, his wife um, was in the truck with him. And they have invited us down, and they will be there, or he will be there, at least. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she will be as well. In fact, I think that they might even be on here uh, this evening because they said they were going to watch, or potentially oh, watch the live stream. But, like, if you put that there, they can't see your face. Oh, I was hiding. Yes. Okay, so more of the story that we have. Um, oh, Ephes- Ephesus. Ephesus. That, the reason why we're in Ephesus, away from Mom's house, is because cell phone pings. That's why we're here is because there's a radius around Ephesus that Natalie's phone kept pinging for two and a half hours from two two o'clock or 2.30 in the morning until 5.30. Ping, 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 ping. And so it's bouncing off of four different towers that we have here, which brings us to starting in Ephesus and looking outward as to what bodies of water we have and start enlarging our search grid Mm -hmm. from here so that's why we're in ephesus and by the way ephesus great people nice people there's just nothing here not even salad well actually there's not salad at the one and only grocery store dollar general it's not a grocery store but that's the best that you can get here you we would have had to go 15 or 20 minutes to another town and then we would have had to come back and because of you y'all um, somebody just donated twenty dollars. Thank you on that on PayPal. Brandy O'Neill, thank you for the twenty dollars donation over there on uh, PayPal. The link is in the description uh, if you'd like to use PayPal. Uh, so we re- really appreciate that. So I, I, anyway, coming back to the uh, viewers, uh, you know, again, the RV is possible. Hey, people are asking uh, where Dan is. You just want to, want to show Dan. Sure Dan's still, still alive over there. He's hey here. everyone. Thank you, Dan. <gasps> We've been editing all day. Oh, here, okay. Here now they can hear you. Can they see you? Is it pointing yeah, right? I think so. Okay. Yeah. So, so fill them in on uh, what you've been doing. So today was we we had a lot of stuff in terms of filming this next episode. It's gonna be a really good episode. And then we've also been editing like crazy. Last night it was up till two a.m. on the Nick video. It's it's really good. Um, Sending that over to Josh Miner. He's producing the music, and then it'll be up soon for you guys. And yeah, it's been, been so, a good day. So there's there's Dan, and we also have something special for Dan later on. So after this is done and we're done with the updates on this one, we're actually going to hang out with you, uh, with y'all, a little bit longer over on Sam's channel when we're done because we have a special gift for you, Dan. Dan, we we, we got you something today. Yes. <laughs> We need to do the middle name thing too. That, that's, 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 we're going to be revealing. A yes. bunch of people. Have, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to reveal. We're going to reveal Dan's middle name on my channel. Somebody actually guessed it, and yeah, someone in someone in the chat said yeah. they talked to my school to try and get my middle name. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, no. How, how do they know what school you went to, man? Some yes. Oh, our our viewers are really smart. Um, hey, you guys are you too were, smart. Zach, thank you for your twenty dollars. Keep up the great work. Watching yeah. from uh, Missouri, we're going to be in Missouri also at Lake of the Ozarks. Christine Johnson, thank you for your twenty dollars do- donation. Again, if I miss anybody, um, Lacey Jones, thank you, part of the team. And then uh, I'm going to get back to more of the story in just a moment. Mm-hmm. As I say, thank you to Joel, who is a new air sponsor, and Chris, who is now part of the team as well. 
Thanks, okay. guys. So Ephesus. So that's why we're in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Working our pattern out is what we're doing tomorrow. And if for some reason we don't find Natalie tomorrow, we have one more day of searching, and that's where you guys come into all of this. So the, the live chat is great right now for us kind of scanning it and checking stuff out, but start looking at where we're at right now, Ephesus, and start looking at bodies of water, and when this is over, in the actual messages down below once once the video is put if, actually you can go down there right now so if you have any actual 100 solid tips google map um uh links or anything i have to actually go in the back end and manually approve anything if you guys put a link in there so just know if there's a link and it doesn't show up right away um, youtube has flagged it but i will see it and i will approve it if it's if it's appropriate so any tips that you have any leads any i'm even open to if any of you are uh you know psychics um you know we are, we are in heavy um uh what's the proper word i'm, I'm i want to say bible belt bible belt is our bible we, belt? are we in the bible belt i don't know is this the bible belt i don't know i think so I, there, there's a lot of churches i mean it, i mean the name of the place is ephesus so ephesus i mean that's biblical city yes and so some people may not enjoy psychics but i'm open i'm open to anything and that's why we're here is we're here to help the family know any way we can so if you're like hey 100 percent, i see this let me also have the lottery numbers while you're at it please so I'm open to it. Um, so where was I at? So I was on the search that we're doing tomorrow. Yeah. And oh, and one of the gentlemen that stopped by also, he, he turned us on to a quarry that we need to go check. So there's one that we know of and it's a little outside of our eight mile radius. It's actually 16 miles away, but it makes sense because it's also between mom's house and where we're at in Ephesus. So cell phone pinging in mm -hmm. near mom's house cell phone pings up here now here's what i wanted to tell you about those cell phone pings at 5 30 in the morning was when the last ping occurred okay okay so 5 30 in the morning last cell phone ping and according to the information that i have privy information by the way privy to you uh-huh it was not a hey the phone is now dead the phone is suddenly offline it's a intentional as far as i understand not i don't have any hard facts on this one so everything is theory and hearsay but we have to go off of theory and hearsay because we don't have natalie home okay the theory and hearsay is is the phone the last ping was actual a action that the phone was turned off and just so you know, Sam is not ignoring us. No, Sam, no, Sam no, actually, no, I'm, I'm watching the chat. Sam is watching the chat, so yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not just playing on my phone. Yeah, he's like, oh, hey, um, you, the the queen, red queen goes on black king. Yeah, with yeah, the with so, the solitaire. So, yeah, so he's not playing solitaire or anything. No, no. Um, all right, so anyway, so next to if you can see this right here, let me see if I can do this right. Next to Aubrey's Lake, there's also he said check this quarry out because this quarry is really deep and it actually has like public um, public access to it from this road right here. Am I? Can you see all that? Okay, is that turned right? Yeah. So public access off of Highway 34. This is south of Ephesus. So if I can scan out here a little bit, this blue there should be a blue dot up here. So blue dot. Ephesus is where we're at. We're not too far from Franklin, and the quarries are over here. So anyway, so as once we wrap this up, um, like I said, down below in the comment section, not in the chat section, but in the comment section, if you want, I'm, I'm going to be going through there and reviewing everything in the comment section. So be sure that anything that you have, this is where we need your help. You guys are our eyes. You guys are our ears. Have you heard of any? Somebody knows something. Oh, yeah. Of course. I, mean, I don't know if they have cell phone records. Like, was she texting or calling anybody? Yeah, I, I don't know how that stuff works. I don't, I zero. I have no idea how it works. Bet you Tatum could tell us if we call Tatum. Tatum is really smart. Tatum, I actually spoke with Tatum today. We yeah. miss, we miss Tatum. Yeah. Um, so if anybody has information on that, I so I don't know if she was talking to anybody else. So let me uh, go through here and just say a thank you to uh, a few more people here real quick. And then... I'm going to go through here and answer some questions. Holy moly. Holy, holy. Yeah, Deanna wow. Frazier. Thank wow. you very much. That's awesome. A PayPal donation of uh, $200 to help us out. Really appreciate that. 
Uh, new member Don Donald, part of the team. Mike says a uh, Trudy. This is um, Trudy is uh, Judy's sister. Oh wow, well. Nick's uh, well. Nick's aunt. Mike says where you are at. He's trying to look at Google Maps. Okay, and oh, somebody else just knew you guys. So I'm I'm. Oh, here we go. We're back. Okay. You are live. Okay. It wasn't buffers. It was 100% my fault. I was trying to read a text that came through because it had some information, and so it was 100% my fault that we went offline, so I, I, I apologize for that. So let me just read a couple of questions here. Jer Bear. Who called me? To, is my wife on? No, or my no, mom? no. Someone just called you Jer Bear. Yeah, that really is my nickname. And, and yes, Sam does have a girlfriend. Sam is very taken. Yeah, Sam is taken. I'm sorry. Dan as, is taken. Dan Jared's is taken, taken as well. And Sherry is also, also taken. taken. We are all taken. So we apologize that uh, we are all taken. I don't apologize. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm glad. <laughs> what are you doing? You're getting in trouble. No, if your wife sees. My, my wife is on. She watches all this stuff as well. So I appreciate my wife and my girls for being on as well. So, no, I, I mean, I apologize that we can't bring additional smiles to people's faces this evening. That's what I'm apologizing okay. for. So I'm going to uh, read a couple of comments. If you catch any comments, why don't you answer some questions also? And uh, so, poor families, is Sam the one deleting messages? No, Sam no. is not the one deleting messages. If if messages are being deleted, it's either because the filters are picking up, like there's like bad words being said, um, so those will get deleted automatically, or if um, inappropriate links or politics are being spoken on something that that's not where that's not what we're discussing this evening. So if any oh, of that is happening, Patrick Young is not taken, by the way. Then. Patrick Young. Patrice. <laughs> oh, no, that, that, that spell, oh, oh, sorry. So, Patrice. So we do have Chaos Divers in here as well as Exploring with Nug. So they are yeah. a part of the team as well. So if you've not yet checked out Chaos Divers, do go check him out. He's uh, been putting out some good content. He's actually looking for yes, yes. another missing person yes. by the name of Joel. So, um, Jacob, why don't you go ahead and throw up a uh, link, link on... Link to Jacob. Check out Jacob. Well, Sub not, Jacob. But not just the link to Jacob, but he also has two videos where he was working with uh, Tammy and Dennis uh -huh. that we worked with uh, from Team Waters over in Missouri when we found Nathan. Uh, incre those two are really incredible. But Jacob has been working with Tammy and Dennis big, as doing well. Big things, big things. And he was testing out, and I'm really jealous... Je De um, What's his name now? I'm getting tired. Whose name? Jacob. <laughs> Jacob Jacob Chaos Divers was testing out a remote control sonar, sonar boat. So instead of like you see us Team Waters sonar. So you see us getting in the water with our blue boat and our sonar, Jacob was testing it out with them where you can just control the whole thing straight from land and you never even have to get in the water at all. Yeah. So Jacob, throw up your video link on that one, as well as a link to your channel. Go support Jacob because he's doing, um, he, he's serving as well. Mm -hmm. He's getting out there trying to help bring you know resolution. And, and, and to he helps us. Well. He, he helps us in a big way. Being a mod, you know, uh, he's great support. I, I talk to him at least four or five times a week. I, I love you, bro. Sometimes four or five times a day. Like, four, he, four, like yeah. he's like, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Good brother. <laughs> sure. and, Appreciate and you, man. Anyway, to, so to answer your question, as far as things getting deleted, Jacob may be deleting things as well if he's catching something that should that is inappropriate. But Jacob also has really fat fingers, and uh, so he may accidentally like, like, like twice the size of mine. Yes, and tw three times the size of mine. Look how big <laughs> that is. So he might be accidentally deleting things, or. <laughs> He's going to be so mad at us. After we say something like that, when we're just joking around, sometimes he gets offended. And for that, Jacob, I apologize. You get yeah. like... Uh, yeah, your fingers are perfect just how they are. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I might get a phone call from him later on. Uh, will. Also, check out uh, Exploring with Nug. I yes. think, is, is Nug on here tonight? Yeah, Nug's on here. He's been uh, okay. yeah, he's, he's been joking and poking at us. Okay, so What's we're up, Nug? we're meeting up with uh, Nug in a few days as well. Nug has never actually been with us to lift a vehicle. He's he does he's like the number <laughs> one gun king. He finds guns all the time, and he's going to be with us to actually lift his first car, as well as a potential. Um, go ahead and bring that one back up. Oh, sorry, I, I I saw something. Um, oh, I lost it. Someone said. Oh, that one there. Uh, Lonnie, Lonnie Landon. I will tell you that um, I have a lot of background in that. I, I will say that. They got you pegged. Yes. Um, 
so anyway, so uh, exploring with Doug, we're going to be with him in a uh, couple of days as well on that one. Let me uh, say thank you to a few more uh, sponsors real quick, and then I'm going to answer a few more questions. So we have uh, Tina Brown. Thank you for becoming part of the team. When you anybody that becomes a part of the team, um, it's you putting forth your financial, um, you know, thank you to us. And we're bringing you into our fold. You're part of the team as Adventures with Purpose. And for that, we say thank you by providing videos to you guys early to for anything that Dan is working on. Right now, I think there's only one video up of uh, and pretty much an old old school dive with my wife, uh, my wife and my daughter, Kiki, the camera girl. So you'll be able to see that one right away. And then as soon as the Nick video is out and online, it will be available to you as a member before it goes public to everybody else on Friday. But but as well as Karina Kokomo, that one's coming up as well. Uh, that's that one's going to be ready to, tonight, tomorrow. So yeah, so we're pushing to have that up in the next day or two. So that one's coming online as well. Uh, so anyway, so that's our way of saying thank you. So anybody that's not a member, please don't be mad. That's just please understand that that's the benefit they get because they're financial. Uh, their financial thanks and that's our thanks to them but not to worry because we're not hiding any videos from you you will have additional videos that are coming out uh, and so that's coming up we also have a, a ten dollar donation from Dolores uh, Whitaker what about Nick what about Nick? What about <gasps> that's what yes. We need to talk about. Let me tell you about Nick. Let yes. me let me say thank you to a few more. All right, and, and, and hang, hang on, on, hang on, hang on. We'll yes. tell you about Nick. We we have some big news on Nick. Big news. Um, Tina, five dollar donation. Uh, is there a picture of the boyfriend? I am not putting pictures of only the boy, only the ex boyfriend that's online. Yeah, who's we're not, Yeah, we're not doing that. Who's currently in jail? You can go look for links. Just type in Natalie Jones. <laughs> missing and you're going to find the new recent links yep. and there's plenty of information yep. yeah, there's lots of public information out there that you guys can but look we up on we're that. not calling them yep. out in that no, way not doing that um so thank you guys for all your donations and helping us put fuel in the tank uh, food and feud food of fuel feud. fuel in our bellies we really appreciate that um i'm going to spend three more minutes oh no no let me talk about nick yeah let's get nick nick Incredible news on Nick today. It has been 100% confirmed that yes, that was Nick 100%. He, your, your phone is still over there. And so I'm really happy that we already knew it. I mean, yeah, our, our, yep. yes, you the family and us, we already knew it. But as far as publicly, we can put that out there. The news and information, DNA or dental records or whatever that they needed yep. came back today. And Mom Judy is extremely grateful as well for all the support and the love. She put up a, over on GoFundMe, she put up an update today, just the overwhelming support that she has received from everybody. Mm -hmm. The family is currently working on raising money uh, right now for the funeral expenses, as well as her hope to raise enough money for an appropriate, nice headstone for them as well. Yeah, so Jacob, if you can throw up the uh, GoFundMe page, uh, for the family uh, any donations, you know would be greatly appreciated. You know, it's a great family great people You know, it's a tragedy, you know to lose a son to lose a loved one and you know And it, and it helps you know to everything you guys do helps. So Jacob if you can throw up that uh, there it is GoFundMe link just popped up Nick Allen uh, Please check that out if you're able to yeah, all right So I'm gonna spend five more minutes going through here. I'm not I'm not gonna tell any more stories I'm gonna go through here and read some comments while I'm reading comments Sam is going to pop open. Get set up. Yes, he's going to pop open Come his on over, guys. His live live stream because we have information on Dan, 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 the cameraman. We have a present for Dan, Dan, the cameraman, and hang out with us. Where you know this one is more serious over here. What's Sam's channel? Sam, Sam, the Adventure Man. And, and yes, and Jacob will uh, pop that up again for you. So, Sam, Sam, the Adventure Man on YouTube. But but stay over here. H hang on, H hang on. Yeah. Stay with him. Yeah, I'm gonna answer some questions right uh, now. I'm gonna get loaded up. And there's then you guys also come a over. link in the description to Sam, Sam, the Adventure Man's channel. So there's a link. Follow that link, and that will take you over to Sam, Sam, the Adventure Man. What was I talking about? Um, you're tell talking about you know you just found Nick and you're saying oh. you're going. Oh, so I'm talking. Well, I'm talking Nick. about bringing him over to your channel oh, because yeah. we're gonna hang out for like another half hour, 45 minutes, doing a lot more joking, answering a lot more questions, and 
presenting we have a present yes, yes. we have a present for dan as well as well as what his middle name middle is, name is. So, I'll, I'll make that announcement so hang out there i'm gonna thank a few more people so if you've not yet become a member please do so uh any donations super chats let me just uh, say thank you to you, you as well uh levon hawks thank you for uh, becoming an air sponsor we have ron anderson love your work and all you do have a couple of coffees on me thank you very much 14 a 15 dollar donation we have a five dollar donation from dylan we have a uh another six seven dollar donation from daisy duke and jagman daisy can duke. i have a shout out for a friend chance has hazard jagboy i think that with a name like daisy duke and hazard and jagboy. jagman yeah. and a friend hazard jagboy I think that uh, just the good old boys, that's what we're doing right now. I think so. Never meaning no harm, trouble with the law since the day they were born. I was trouble, I've been, I've been in trouble with the law before, but I'm, I'm trying to make up for it now, okay? So uh, we've all done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, everybody has sinned in some way or another, okay? Yeah, yes. Uh, $10 donation from Danielle McDonald. Keep the, the amazing work, thank you very much. And IS Spirit has become a, a part a, a team member. I'm gonna answer some questions here, and then as I'm scanning, what's gonna be good is I'm gonna start interrupting you a lot on your channel as I'm answering questions over there as well. Do it. But I'm still trying to get this fixed. Yes. Yeah, so he's, he's live working. with so um, AWP. So I have a question, Jerry. Did you get your new phone? Uh, negative. I don't have a new phone. I still have this phone, but I have one, a viewer that has texted me and has called me and said, Jared, just let me know what Verizon store you're going to. I will call it in and there will be a phone waiting for you. And Whoa. in addition to that, I, like, I'm just blown away like with gratitude on yeah, that one. That's awesome. In addition to that, he also said, or they, they also they, said, please let me also know what Sam paid for his regulator that broke when you guys were in Philly and I will reimburse him for that one as yes. well. So thank you. It's huge, huge. Yes. So that that's really amazing, really awesome. So anyway, you guys are just here's what the past year past oh. year. So we're taking a picture for the uh, his pastor. pastor. So here's what the pastor said when he said uh -huh. he goes, "How are you guys funded?" And I said, "We are funded a hundred percent by donations and things that happen." And he said. I have to remember exactly the way that he said it. When you're, you're ba ba live. basically like your bread basket when it's empty, when your bread basket is empty, the Lord will provide for you and may your basket overrunneth or something. It was something like that. I, I don't know. May your cup runneth over? Yeah, it wasn't cup runneth over. No. So anyway, he's, that's why I'm not a pastor. Pastor. Yes, that's why I'm not a pastor. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, two more minutes. Right now, Sam is live, so jump over on Sam's right now, and then I'm gonna keep answering questions over there, and I'll, I'll, I'll finish scanning these over here. So I'm gonna read them and answer them over on Sam's over here. So yeah. jump over right now. Jacob, put up Sam's channel. It's also in the description down below. Jump over there, because we're gonna have, we're gonna turn this into the update from Natalie Jones, and we're going to turn this into come hang out with us, find out what Dan Dan, the cameraman's middle name is, come check out the present that uh, we ha we, that we got for yes, him today. Yes, yes, we got a present. And a lot more fun little stories yep. and tours yeah, of the yeah, RV little, or anything little else. Little just, yes, yes. just come hang out, let's have a good time. Yep. Uh, and so as they're coming over to you, it looks like you have 205. Yeah. Oh, don't so, tell me how many so, people are looking at me. <laughs> yep, so, so start leaving my channel right now. Go check out Sam, Sam the Adventure Man. Uh, Jason says, I came in late. When are you coming to the Lake of the Ozarks? Going to be there in uh, a week or Can two. Can you hear me? Check, check on my channel. Uh, LOL, I just so, got the live from Sam Sam. Sam sounds muffled. Amen. Sounds muffled. Uh, muffled. That's Can't why hear. they named Yes, you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Review channel. Uh, let's go for a little walk. Let's go see if you Are you me. leaving me? I'm not leaving you. I'm just going to step away. I'm trying to answer questions for him. All right. How? This. Here, Lee wants to know. Lee, Lee Ramsey wants to know how old are is the RV? How old's the RV? It's older than Dan. The it, it is older than Dan. Dan was born in 2002. Uh, the RV was born in 1999, and my wife found it. She was looking for an RV for me because I was sleeping in the back of the car. 
like I was doing all these dive adventures in the back of the car and she felt really bad for me. She says, Jared, the fans have really stepped up for you. You've been blessed. We need to spend that money and get you an RV. Yeah. But I'm like, but I need a dive computer and a tank and, and some, all the things. And other yep. stuff. But she says, no, 100%. And then so she started, started for like 45 days. She started figuring out what size we needed, the length of it, the, you know, she knew that you and I wanted to do this trip. So this yeah, really yeah. started, you know, like four or five months ago. Yeah. And this one popped up for $14,900. It had 28,000 miles on it, and it was in 1999. We went over and we got it because of you guys. So thank you to each and every one of you. I still have 1,600 people over here on mine. So you 1,600 that are left over here need to go over to Sam's because I'm going to shut this down in about three minutes, but I'm going to keep answering some questions, but I'm going to answer the questions over on Sam's. So jump over on Sam's because here we are over there. Um, did you get your pizza the other day? We did not get the pizza, but we ended up with a lot of donations and pizza the following day when we were- Aya Spirit, thank you so much. That is awesome. I am totally gonna put that towards dive gear. Yes. Really appreciate it. And so we did end up getting pizza the, when we Old were- Old geezer, yeah, thank you. When we started making the decision as to where we were going next. So um, anyway, on that one, I'm going to go ahead and shut my live stream down over here. So yep. thank you everybody for being a part of it over here. We're now over here on Sam. So jump over to Sam, Sam the Adventure Man. The link is in the description Farm below. Mike, thank you very much. Chaos Divers, Greatly also drop the link in over here again if you've not seen the link. Sam, Sam the Adventure Man on howdy, YouTube. Howdy, howdy. Really appreciative of all of you. Thank you, we'll bring you another update. If like if we find Natalie, Scott Phillips, we're gonna to let you treasure. guys know Thanks, almost guys. right away. You guys are uh, awesome. We're, we do have Smash the videos like of our little, um, uh, searches that we have coming up so we're going to share all that with you and again thank you for, for uh Randy making Jones. all this possible yeah we will uh talk with you guys and see you guys later yeah but now we're going to see you over yep, just to see you over here so, so right. we're just going to wait just a wait maybe about 20 30 seconds